Yo, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking John 34, and today I'm gonna break down the Type 95 B1 from long range. Last time I broke it down from medium to short range, and you know everybody was pretty much uh, close by, and everybody was showing up and right in front of my face. So uh, this time I got into a map that's pretty much spread out. You know, there's open fields all over the place. There's good angles from long range, and uh, you know we pretty, we can pretty much you know test out the Type 95 B1 from those ranges. As you can see right now, you know this that's the biggest problem from the Type 95 B. Um, it's not that perfect. Yes, I do. I still do consider this gun one of my top five guns here in Battlefield 4, but that's one big major problem it has. It's very bipolar from long range. There's some certain points uh, where. You know from long range it becomes very accurate then it becomes like very inaccurate like i'm like why is it doing this that's what i don't get and also it, it does have that attachment which allows you to be accurate right off the first bullet and you can see how many times i shoot off the first bullet and it's still not that, that accurate so that's what sucks about this weapon it does have all that potential but you know what's holding it back is all that freaking shaking is i hate that freaking recoil man it goes all over the freaking place but uh, but uh, all I'm asking you guys to do is to be patient with this weapon, and you can pretty much take out the whole world with this weapon. I'm just asking you for patience. I mean, you just saw how many times you know I shot people from middle range and stuff like that, and I took them out. So uh, I think that's one great tip to give about this gun. You know, you gotta be very patient for long range. Just make sure you can concentrate on that shot. Just concentrate, and bam, you should be able to take out like one or three enemies from long, from those ranges. And uh, you know, the Type 95 B1, as I told you before. It's pretty much great for sneaking, um, you know, medium range. I told you guys it's pretty much deadly. Um, long range, it can be, it could become one of the greatest guns out there. But that's what sucks about it, guys. You know, the long range is not all, all there. Um, so that's why, you know, I brought you guys this gameplay so you guys can see how bipolar this gun is, and that's what I hate about this gun. Like right here, here's a good example. I got, I got that guy pretty much accurate. The bullets are all there. Now let's check on this guy. As you can see, I had to tap it, tap it a little bit because if not, I'm going to miss all the shots. Um, still nothing. Like, what the hell? So, um, so yeah, I mean, I'm like, why is it doing this sometimes? And from hip fire also, it's pretty good. You can also shoot down enemies from medium range, which is pretty cool. From a Type 85, goddamn, you know, that's a pretty good, much a uh, good feat. So, um, and also, you know, this map, I consider it one of my... You know, fun maps out there because you can travel around, you can go up the stairs and stuff. It, it looks pretty fun. I like this map most of the time. And I, I, I do like to play it every single day. And this guy, as you can see, the guns is all over the freaking place. I just can't take him out. Right here, the guy, the guy just drops down and, you know, he's done. I don't know why he did that. Pretty dumb. You gotta be very patient with your kill sometimes. If I was that guy, I would have I would have gone back into the hallway or something or try to run away. Because, you know, you pretty much pinpointed that right there and you can't do nothing about it. Two guys back to back, nothing. Well, only one guy down. That's it. My teammate almost goes down. I'm trying to look down, trying to look around. It's weird to see where he's at. No, nothing around. You know, that's all my thing. That's all I do, guys. I'm just sneaking around. I don't even know where the bullets are coming from. Look at this camper trying to shoot RPGs and stuff. So, anyways, um, you know, just keep your, just keep your stealth in there. So you should be able to sneak around like nothing. And one thing, another thing that uh, you know, that, that makes the Type 95 even stronger will be the the freaking you know laser sight you know that's one thing that's gonna help you guys like i told you guys before follow the laser sight not the red dot sight yes i know most of you guys are gonna be saying like that well that's a waste of attachment you know because if you're not following the the freaking red dot sight why do you have it there well somehow some way it works like that like i don't even know the th that extra red dot is an assist to the red laser sight is it it's, it's just an assist that's all it is so pretty much think about it, like you're gonna have two dots going all over the place. So you're pretty much gonna pinpoint accurate, you know, where the regular shot is going at. So so yeah, he's pretty much in the middle. You gotta shoot the between those two dots and you should be able to take out the enemy from pretty much a good range and uh you know concentrate on those those those, those two dots and that's it. So um that's how I'm getting most of my kills from long range and medium range because of those two dots. It's pretty much you know calculating where my shot is going at. That's why, you know, I have those two dots right there. I don't mind, you know, having a, a, a loose attachment, but you know, still, um, it performs better this way. I, I perform better with that, like this, because uh, without it, 
Uh, the freaking, I don't like the iron sight. The iron sight looks horrible, horrendous. I don't like to use it, so I don't even trust it. I'm just gonna drop that freaking iron sight. I don't like it at all. Final kill. Bam. Exactly. I had to pull out the pistol at the end because, god damn it, I hate when this gun just goes all over the freaking place, even though I'm trying to be like very accurate as hell. So this is all for now guys, uh, please tell me in the comment section if this tips actually help you out in Battlefield 4. The Time 95 b is a hell of a gun, it's just that you have to do some work out there in order for you to unlock it because it is the last carbine rifle to unlock. So it's going to take you a while guys. So leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what's up and I'll see you guys later and enjoy your day.